right now. And why, why do you say that? I mean, what what is it about him that seems natural there? Uh, you know, coming from O line, I mean, coming from D line, moving the O line, uh, D line, you have to do, you have to be capable of moving fast and like short areas. So like, mm -hmm. O line, you know, they they all on this rhythm, and Josh is like quick twitch and. You just tell, like, when he reaches someone, or he just, like, pass that. So it's, it's like, just came to a natural with him. So yeah, he's doing very good. Yeah, that's it. Taekwondo, I apologize if you've been asked this before. Um, what's it like to have, like, eight guys who can start somewhere on the defensive line in the Big Ten all on the same team? I mean, it, like I said, it's a great thing to have that many guys uh, rotating in and playing. Like, it's just a bonus for us. What do you think of Nick Bosa's beard? Beard. It's cool, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> what went into your decision no, no, um, to come back? I don't think we spoke any of sense. What went into that decision? Um, you probably put a, put a bit on just a high draft pick. Yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of things. You know, I went down and sat with my mom, Coach Johnson, a few people that I uh, love and trust. Yeah, I mean, I just made the right decision that was best for me. You know, uh, I don't like getting the details about it. But I feel like I made the right decision. What is it about college football? What's the allure? What's the meaning? Meaning. Well, what, what's one of the reasons why you would come? I mean, you know, in, when you college could be football? getting paid. Yeah. I don't know. I, left the, I went to the symposium this past weekend, and, like, uh, it was just talking about the benefits of it. And I, college football, has, I mean, it has a very, very high platform. So if you, like, keep this good character and everything around you, uh, it paid dividends off in the, in the back end, so that, I think that's a good thing about college football. Where was the symposium? What was, where was Indianapolis. it? Indianapolis. Yeah. NCAA thing. Yeah. 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 How many how many people were? Was it a bunch of players or? It was about 15, 20 yeah. the elite guys in college football. How'd you get invited to it? Just. Uh, uh the compliance just told me about it, so I mean I went. Who were some you. of the other guys there? Uh, just guys from Alabama, Clemson, UCLA, just other big schools. What's it like? What's it like when you look around and? I mean, obviously, you're, you're the old man on the D line, but you look around and JT's here, Chris Worley's here, Marcus Ball. I mean, you got a lot of guys left from that 13 class. Hey, even my boys, you know, we've been <laughs> down for a long time. You know, me, JT, Tracy, we came in uh, earlier together. And uh, Worley and Marcus, they can't, I mean, we all we all been tight since freshman year, so it's, it's a bonus for us. You know, we all like close still. So it's whatever. Yeah. How's, you, how's Tracy doing with his? Tracy's doing really good. Is he like full go or are they taking it easy with him? Uh, not full go yet, but he, he's on the sidelines. He's going hard, like outstanding effort. You were Big Ten Defensive Lineman of the Year, but what do you think you can do even better? Like what's something you want to even improve at even more uh, going into your fifth year senior season, Taekwon? I mean, I just want to be the best, uh, the best player for this team. That's the main thing for me. I just want to go out and play hard for my teammates. That's the main thing for me. Uh, Whatever else comes with it, all the accolades, uh, I mean, I don't really get into, into things like that. I just accept them. Well, what is it, as you introspect a little bit, though, what is it about you? You seem to, like, really rise at critical moments in games. Have you noticed that, too, about yourself? And what is it that kind of drives you in those moments? Uh, you know, it's, it's like you just I, – I just close my eyes. And, uh, I think real deep to myself when I'm, like – First down, second down, those are like every down is critical in the endings of, of those games. And you just think to yourself and you think about like all the things that you had to go through to get this moment and why not go out and give it all that you got, you know, like and during that moment, like fourth quarter, you know, everybody's tired. But so what? Mm -hmm. Just gotta go. Hey, take one Billy just said that it used to be that the older players would get privileges, little extra benefit of the doubt, but that seems to have gone away this year. And Coach Mick has even been harder on you guys maybe than some of the younger players. Is that how you see things going down? I mean, I, I think everybody gets treated fairly the same sometimes. Old players do get a lot of extra treatment. Uh, but is it harder this year? Are they being harder uh, on the, the team leaders? Yeah, they've been cracking down on us a lot, a lot more because you know, you gotta be hard on the leaders with so like the young players, like anybody is like capable of getting anything wrong. So I mean, yeah, it's just gonna make us better though. You just gotta take coaching. What'd you think of the message from Ray Rice yesterday? Uh, I think I think it was a great, great conversation. 
uh, you know, the message delivered was was very inspirational. Uh, it taught us a lot. You know, like you you could lose it all in one day, but uh, everybody has a purpose, and I mean, that message it, it hit home. Like it, it was very deep. Yeah, that's Pretty coming from a guy who did lose it all, and, yeah. and I mean, he's not back in the league, you know. And right. It, uh, what what is it like when it comes from a guy like that? I mean, that's it's a it's a walking testimony, you know. It, you can learn a lot from that. That's that's what I mean when I say like, uh, uh, that means like a lot. It takes a deep person, a deep thought and consideration to like even do things like that. You know, being at the highest platform to like coming back and like sharing mm -hmm. your story with someone. Because I mean, I, I wouldn't. It, it takes a lot of courage. Thanks, Tech One. Thanks, man.